What up everyone? Look what I got today. They delivered it upside down. Oh my gosh, I gotta flip it back over. Man, this is heavy. 60 pounds. Let's open it up. It's a box inside of another box. This. Slide it out. There we go. Look at that. That is awesome. So, if you watch my channel, you see that I have a Segway X260. Love the bike. You've probably seen that I ride my electric skateboard too. My boosted board Stealth. Love that. And one of the things, the reason that I got this is because um, I was on like a walking trail and there, I seen a couple people riding these and I'm like, dang, this is definitely not a place that I could take my boosted board. This is just not the terrain for it. And then two, I can't take my, um, I can't take my Segway here. This is just, they don't even allow bikes on that trail. So if I took my Segway, I'd definitely be getting in trouble for that. But something like this, and it says a 75 mile range on it. It goes 30 miles an hour. So it goes five more miles an hour than my boosted board. It has just about the same range as my X260. And you can take this thing like anywhere. I was sold. I was sold. Plus, it's only like half the price as the X260. All of these like last mile vehicles coming out, really, they're like not even like last mile vehicles anymore. These are like full time. You can just ride these vehicles. These are your daily commuters. Especially if you live in a town like, like I live in downtown San Jose. Okay, what do we got in here? I don't know. This looks like a charger. Some tools packed in here, real nice. Uh oh, the charger. Yeah, I would really like to get two of these. That way, when you know a friend and I just want to go on like a little adventure, um, you know, we can pretty much like go anywhere. We can go to any like trail. We can just we, another thing is we can just throw these in the back of a car and then just take them wherever we want, like. You know, I can't do that with my X260 and my boosted board can't go everywhere that my X260 can go. Plus it doesn't have the range. So this has the range. This can handle all of the terrain and it's very compact and convenient. It, and it's only like 2,500 bucks. It's half of the price of the X260 for the, so the, for the price of one X260, I can get two of these. Got it. Oh my gosh. Wow. I was <laughs> That is so cool. I didn't know what to expect for like the build quality. You know, I was expecting it to be, since it's selling 2,500 bucks, I thought maybe, is this a kickstand? Oh, what, what? Wow, that's so cool. Let me put this stuff under here. Put this stuff under here. Okay, wow. This build quality, it's like, this is like, it's plastic, but this is like very like durable, thick plastic. And then this down here is carbon fiber and like a lot of parts of it, like the handle up here, that these might be plastic as well, but there's a lot of like metal parts. Like these are metal. This wheel is super high quality. That's another thing is, I talked about in my other video about like things I don't really like like about the XT60 and it's like the maintenance of it. This looks very, very easy to maintain. 
Now, how do we work this thing? Wow. Also, did you see that? The, the shocks on here? Look at that. That is so cool. Instructions. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing in motion electric unicycle. Before you ride the unicycle for the first time, you have to shut off the transport mode to activate the vehicle. How to shut off transportation mode. In motion app to disable transformation mode, transportation mode, app connected through Bluetooth. Oh, so you have to have a smartphone. Let's plug it in. Maybe, maybe that's the problem why I'm not getting any, anything. Okay, so apparently you can use two of them. Oh. Please active your vehicle. Oh, I was right. Please active your vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing that. Like here is the app and like binding vehicle, like the okay button. This is little kanji symbols. Oh, look at that. Turn the light on, turn the light off. That's cool. Okay. What else we got in here? Oh, you can turn the fan on just by itself. How do I turn the fan back off? <laughs> you know what would be really cool? Is if they added, like, you know how in Tesla they have the, uh, the engine sound so you can sound like you're driving any type of car, like a really fast car or something? It would be cool if they added like that, like, it like, sounds like a motorcycle or something. Okay, and then there's this thing under here that tells you how many, how much, what the air pressure should be at for your weight. It is the pumping port. Oh wow, right here underneath. Oh, refill the air spring. That's what I'm doing. I'm not filling the tire up. I'm filling the, the air, the air spring up. So this needs to be at 80 to 120. Is there anything else I should do before riding this thing? Okay, so I have my air suspension hooked up. I'm charging it. It's almost done charging. Have it all hooked up in the app. Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Okay, we're outside. I don't have a whole lot of battery life left, but let's try to figure this thing out. Um, as you've seen, I rolled out here. It was pretty convenient. I was, at first I was kind of like pulling it behind me like this, but I think it's way better to kind of like put it in front of you and push it like this. Okay, let's put this handle down. This handle right here, look at this little, you know, little switch down here. Oh, it actually goes at like different, no it doesn't, never mind. Okay, let's put out the, the foot pegs here. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel I feel like I should put my backpack down. Okay, so it's on. I can feel it. It's almost like like humming. It's like purring underneath me. My common sense and my equilibrium tells me that if I put my foot on here, I'm gonna have to really balance because I might it's just gonna flop backwards. But I've been on a hoverboard like once or twice. And I originally had that feeling, and then it was pretty easy to like overcome that feeling to ride around a hoverboard, but whew, I'm just gonna go for it, okay? Dang.
I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting just to hop up on here and, I mean, I knew it was gonna be hard, but I really feel like this is like super hard. Maybe I'm just like overthinking it too much. Dang it. I can feel it start to take off when I lean forward. Come on. I do a lot of like sports. Like I slack line, I ride that dirt bike. Um, I ride a skateboard. Um, I go out and bodyboard. I do a lot of like outdoor core balance kind of stuff. So I, I don't know, I was expecting this to be a little bit, a little bit easier. getting sweaty. They just pointed out that I have a flat tire. I didn't even notice this. No wonder I'm not being able to like ride this thing around. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go find a place to pump up my tire. Okay, I'm back out here now. I went up to my apartment, pumped up the tire. That was actually fairly easy. You can use just like a regular uh, tire pump, like a, a bike tire pump to pump up this tire. So that was really simple. And I got it all powered back up. Let's try out, I'm, I got this tree. Ooh. Okay, okay. around okay oh. oh dang this is hard I mean it, it does feel a little bit easier now since I have like a full my tires full of air but still like wow this is hard okay people make this look so easy <laughs> I'm scratching it all to hell let me just sit on here
I think this will help. Okay, am I ready? Let's give it a shot. Yo! Yo! Wow. Wow. It kind of is like riding a bike. I thought I was never gonna get this. Wow, this feels good. Ooh, slow down, okay. Speed, speed back up. Oh. Damn, I ran into this thing. I mean, it was brief, but it was exhilarating. Okay, rock back and forth to kind of get the gist of it. And then let's send it. Green light up there, let's do it. Wow, if I could get this down, this would be enjoyable. But wow, I, I really feel like I'm balanced. Okay, feel. Hey. Ah. I need a bigger space with less people. It's hard. Okay, let's do it. Let's try to do it. I mean, once I get going, it feels pretty good, but getting up on this thing, what a pain in the ass, and stopping. Not very easy. How fast can I get going? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? I need to slow down a little bit. Hey, that was pretty okay. You know, it actually like, it really is like, like my feet are getting like super tired. Damn it. Ugh, I need to cross this road. There we go. Oh, we're doing it. Okay. Let's do a little bit faster. Look at that. I'm zipping. This dude's impressed over here. Man, the air suspension really does help. I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting way better, but my feet right now, 
it's weird because like you know it's like your feet and like how in the world would your feet get sore i mean if you walk on them all it, like if you're walking on them yeah that i understand but like this you know i'm not damn it damn it my... <laughs> almost got away from me but for real my feet are like like super sore right now i think it's just because i'm i'm using them in like a different way bro runaway one wheel the most silicon valley thing i've ever seen <laughs> you seen that going, bro. <laughs> i'm gonna keep recording videos like this this is just the unboxing video and just to kind of give you my first impressions like so far i'm super impressed by the build quality like the metal the high high quality plastic like this thing feels solid and the range on it and the speed that you get out of it and where you can take it those are all like thumbs up for the, the things that i don't really like and you've been seeing this is it's kind of hard to get going on this thing it's not as simple as I, what I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of dangerous too, especially if you don't have space to kind of just practice. Like I'm downtown, I live downtown. Um, I should probably find like a park or something where I could practice this, but then you need a railing because if you, if you it's using a railing or a tree or something really helped me like get going. Yeah, it's just super hard to get going on this thing. And then also it's exhausting. I'm sure after a while, after I get used to this, I'm gonna be able to just like jump on this thing, ride it around, and I won't feel so tired. But my plan was to, you know, buy another one of these. And that way when I have a friend that comes over, I can be like, yo, let's go ride these, uh, these one wheels, these in motion electric unicycles. Let's go to like this trail or whatever. And man, I don't think it's gonna happen like that because it does take some practice to be able to just do this so it's not like you know you can just have people come visit you and then that day they're going to be able to pick this thing up i feel like i'm going to have to practice this all day to just kind of like get the gist of it and to actually become good at it it's going to take me a while so something that i didn't really think about was how quickly somebody can pick this up because I thought, you know, like this is gonna be simple. It's gonna be like a hoverboard or something like that, but not at all. It's not, not at all like a hoverboard, not that simple. It's actually really difficult. And you know, when you're riding it and you're trying to practice, you're like scuffing it all up. Ugh. <laughs> I thought it was just, you know, you know, just get it, hop on it and you're, you're on your way, but no, it's, it takes a, actually a lot of like energy and uh, patience. Um, yeah, so that's been the unboxing and my first impressions. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.